But you may not realize sunscreen is also a good idea. Newswatch 12 CR Whaley has some tips on how to avoid winter sunburn. Snow and ice reflect about 80% of the ultraviolet light that can cause sunburn. Sunburn in the winter isn't a combination you'd expect, but it's very possible and painful. As winter is approaching and snow activity start up again, Dr. Robert Aylesworth out of Rhinelander wanted to give the community some pointers. When it's cold out, the, uh, the ozone layer in our atmosphere that protects us from the ultraviolet light is thinner. Leaving us with more exposure under freezing conditions. In the wintertime, people do their outdoor activities sometimes at higher altitudes where they might go to a ski hill or ski area. And for every thousand feet that you go up in elevation, you get about a 5% increase in damaging ultraviolet light. Meaning the higher that you go, any part of you that is exposed, like your lips, nose, or eyes, have to have some form of protection, even if it's sunblock. Sunscreen needs to be more broad spectrum sunscreen. And so the, the number of the sunscreen, the UV uh, protective number, is not as important in the winter because it doesn't measure the, the broadness of the sunscreen. So you should make sure when you look at the label on your sunscreen, that it says broad spectrum. And for one of our favorite winter sports, ice fishing, being so close to the ice can really do some damage. It happens if you're out ice fishing and you're getting a lot of reflection off that ice, you may, may want to use total sunblock on your lips and your nose, those areas that are exposed. Uh, you might be covering up the other areas with your, your clothing, but I think it's important.